Hello Stamper, welcome to Frenchie's video. I'm France Martin, independent demonstrator with Stamping Up. And today I'm going to show you the basic with the watercolor pencil that um, Stamping Up released. Uh, I'm going to warn you, I'm not a, a pro at watercoloring, but I'm going to show you uh, the way that I do it. So both of this are done with the pencil. I use a little bit ink on the side, you're going to see. And... Um, the aqua painter so the aqua painter you just open this and you put the water in the barrel and it's ready to go the pack come in a pack of two so you get one with a finer tip and a bigger tip i most of the time i use the fine tip depends if i do a big background then i use the big tip so this one here it's done on the shimmer cardstock i i love shimmer cardstock for watercoloring or the watercolor uh, paper. So I'm gonna show you both of them. I'm using the Beautiful You. Um, it's a set, you get two box. I combine them in the same box, so it's easier for me. We're gonna be using Stazon ink. And <clears throat> when you use Stazon ink, one thing that you wanna do, it's make sure that your Stazon, it's very well ink. And the first time I would say ink it and then stamp on a scrap paper first to make sure it's very well ink. And then we're gonna ink again. And this time I'm gonna put this a little bit lower than the other one so I get a better place for my uh, greeting. So you wanna give a good impression, voila. And this was the shimmer, really where you have to really press it's on your watercolor paper. Oops, this is my stays on, keep on banging here. Because um, the watercolor paper, it's a rough paper. But what's the beauty of the watercolor paper? It get cotton in it, so really it absorbs the water and you can come back and back and really it don't make a hole in the paper. If you use regular white cardstock, after working at it a little bit with water, it starts going through and it's going to make a hole in the paper. So the way that I like to start it, and like I said, it's many ways to do this. So that's why I said I um, like to do it because uh, many people like to do it differently. So the watercolor pencil, that come 13 in the pack here. And uh, they're kind of tricky where to find them in the catalog. I should have added my uh, page. I want to say it's on page 13. No, it's not on page 13. Let me tell you. I don't know why I was thinking page 13. Okay, page 24. They're right here, the watercolor pencil. I say crayon, it's pencil. Okay, so you get a uh, 13 uh, pencil for $16. And it's in the same page than the stamp set we're using today. So the first thing I like to do is do the out of my card. I just want like a wash around it. And you see I use a uh, pool party or soft sky. That it's soft sky and then pool party over there. And uh, on my table right now, I get pool party. So what I'm gonna do is squeeze this. One thing that you could do to its um, color um, around it, you know, all like this, and then uh, blend it like this. For me, when it's for my big background, I'm gonna wipe this here a bit. I like to uh, just use my ink. And what I like to do, it's, oops, start. I just wet my paper a bit. Make sure your brush is wet. I'm going to wet this. And the reason why I like to wet this before I start, it's going to blend better. You won't have, well, this seemed to be in the way. You saw them, right? Here we go. Now I'm going to get my ink over here. And you can start in the bottom or you can start around. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Like I said, it's no right and wrong. And this, I just want kind of a little bit of um, like looking uh, that drippy water color. So I just add a little bit. And remember to when it dry, it's gonna dry um, lighter. So 
So you see, I just barely do a little wash around it, just give a little bit of impression around. Now, the <clears throat> need more ink here. The shimmer cardstock, don't worry about that. It's just a ink that float there. It's going to seek in. Um, the water, uh, not the watercolor, but the shimmer uh, cardstock, it's the same thing. I want to do a wash. I still add some ink there. Just very gentle. And then, and another thing you can do, you can take your reinker and put that in your uh, cover here. So this one I went a bit darker. It's no right and wrong, trust me. And don't judge your coloring till it's completely dry. Um, one of the card, it was this one. I was ready to toss it out. And after it was dry, I really like it. So after that, you it would be better if you kind of let it dry so it don't blend together the color, but now with the camera. Now I just wipe this. I don't have a color that I like for the skin, so I'm using Blushing Bright. And we're gonna see, I get some blue on her arm. Don't worry about that, just push this down. So uh, when it's fine detail, I like to use the blender uh, pen, but right now I just wanna show you what um, completely just the aqua painter. I'm going to have another video following this one very shortly that's going to be all done with uh, the blender pen. So make sure that you watch after this one, the few days after I'm going to have the blender pen. So now you see I get the skin color. And it's the same thing on this one. So I won't do both of them all of it. I'm just going to show you how... Uh, with the um, pencil now. Don't forget her feet here. First time I did it, I had forget the bottom legs there. So just see, you. I just do a wash, no blending. Like I said, it's very simple what I'm gonna teach you here. And here I see it's, I'm gonna blend that a little bit more. I had a little bit of, um, sh uh, not shimmer, but blushing bright on my brush. Here we go. Okay, the coloring, so that um, I'm using the um, Melon Mambo, and what I'm going to do, it's just follow the lines, that's it. See, I'm just going to follow the lines of her dress, and for the hat, I'm going to do the same thing. Follow where they highlight it, and then do the lines here. And then I'm just going to color a little bit. Don't worry if it's color smooth or not, because we're going to take care of that in a minute. And this year, i done the same thing. So, see? And then the dress. Even if you're not in the line, don't worry about it. And then add a little bit more. And then for the top, the other one I had used Calypso. I think it was, no, that's real red. I had used Calypso. Well, this time, yeah, I'm going to uh, do Calypso again. So we're going to stay the same. So just color this a bit. So I just did the line by your waist there a little bit. So now we're ready to blend this. Again, remember to have your brush wet, but you don't want it to drip. And you can pull this at the direction of the dress. Just go where the lines are. Here we go. And then I'm just going to push this here up. Now I was going down. Here we go. And then if it's not dark enough, you want darker at certain place, what you can do, you can take your brush, go right on your uh, pencil, and then add more. See? And then the hat, it's the same thing. 
where I color the brim, I just push it in the center and try to keep lighter in like the shadow. Now, oops, I need to do this here. So again, I need a little bit more. Voila, is that simple or what? And then with the paper, the watercolor paper, that grab more. You see how much it blend more? It's um, it's because of the cotton in the paper. So it give a different feel when you color with it. Uh, watercolor, I mean, on watercolor paper, it's awesome. And then I'm going to come back and just... Here I want some lighter shade there. See, I'm just going to push. And add, it's the same thing. Go around. Don't, you don't have to press hard at all. Okay, I'm going to do a little bit darker right here. That's it. Now I'm going to, you should see I'm wiping on my shirt here. I didn't bring a paper towel. The shirt here, just go a little bit in between your hair where you see the color and blend this. So she just got kind of a tan top, um, a tan tank top. Here we go. And I can do a little bit more. And you know what? I'm going to use a little bit of real red here. Just want a little bit more of shading here. Here we go, my friend. That is it. So you see we did the two together. I don't know how much you can see the difference. Uh, you see this, it's kind of, it's going to bow a bit. I don't know if you can see. Yes, I think you can see how it bubbled the paper a bit. Don't worry about that. When you're going <clears> to <throat> mount it, like I mount mine on black, really I should let it dry completely before I mount it though. But I'm going to show you this one. It's kind of bubbly. I like to use fast fuse. Anytime that I use watercolor, my uh, adhesive of choice, it is fast fuse. I understand some people don't like the way that fast fuse work or they don't have good luck with it. Let me show you a little trick again. I showed that in many video, but again, so I see, see, I just put it down. Now what I would do is rub it. I cannot do that now because it's still wet. So I'm just going to touch with my fingers, but you really want to press it down and see now it's completely straight. When it comes to the fast fuse, the main, the most problem i think you put too much pressure on it you barely touch the surface of your paper barely roll it down in a little check barely touch the paper check the other way you try to check on one side then the other side because if not this paper where that a uh, clear uh, piece of plastic where the glue is it gets uh, bundled up on one corner so the other way see it's no problem at all check check so the thing is barely touch the paper you don't want to put pressure on that and i think that's where the problem is we tend to put too much pressure on our fast fuse and again i barely can touch it because it's still wet and then what i would do is do my greeting and um I like the saying that I use there, it's um, life, um, life may not be perfect, uh, life, life may not be the party we at, hope for, but while we're, <clears throat> while we're here, we might as well dance. And I think that is such a good uh, greeting for this. So um, I use my uh, stays on. Again, with my stays on, remember the first time, stamp on your scrap paper first. 
then you know it's inkwell i'm gonna put that right here another thing that i did it's after it was dry i'm gonna do it now but after it was dry i used the gorgeous grunge the little dots in the gorgeous grunge because it looked like she's uh, doing the water splashing the water there and i used the pool party and add that right there so it looked like she's kicking the the water i did that there and then if you want you can add a little bit at your fingertip there like she had some water on her hand so i think the gorgeous uh, gorgeous grunge add a good touch to this and now i'm gonna mount that on a pool party cardstock and see ta-da very very simple so um i will be back with another video with the blender pen and then i will have another video with this stamp set without no coloring we're going to be using bleach so even if you don't like to color i'm going to show you ways to use this stamp set that look wonderful with bleach or even plain so thank you so much and again down below you get the link to visit my blog for all the supplies or right above where the eye is. Have a lovely day and I will be back soon, my friends.